the opportunity came to come to Istanbul, I mean, I don't know why, but Turkey uh, was for me, you know, the joining of everything that I wanted because it had all of the calligraphy, it, had, it has everything, it has all the geometry, it has all the floral and the arabesque. Uh, it was an opportunity I couldn't miss. opportunity to combine one of my favourite cities with one of my favourite things to do. We've done this biomorphic design which we're exploring today. I think it's rather special, particularly within the context of this particular mosque. It's a little jewel. Inside it's small and it's quiet and it's sort of off the beaten track. And it's got these Islamic tiles in, in such a concentration, it's unbelievable. It's so many different designs. I've been to Istanbul a number of times and coming here and doing this with these guys, you, you actually get to see a different side of Istanbul, you get to see a different side of the mosques. The transmutation of that can be alive. So be aware of the very subtle scene, that's very subtle use of the car. There isn't at the top, you've got a sort of conventional squinch, which actually goes into quite an unusual six fold symmetry. This is from Rustam Pasha, and this is what we'll be working on in this pattern. And Richard and, and Adam are just you know, real inspirations. They're really kind of encouraging you to develop and kind of it's it's hard but you know they the way they introduce it it kind of makes it attainable. Okay, so then we're gonna draw the same thing on the other side. Um, but this time it's gonna be flipped the other way. So feel free to just turn your page around if you like. And they're passionate, you can really feel it flows through their veins and uh, through their body. And it's not just teaching, it's also giving their um, interest and passion for it. That's what inspires me. The design centre is just perfect. Um, I don't think they could have found a more perfect location. Um, we've, got the, we've got the first mosque that we visited um, behind us. We've then, um, we're right, right in the middle of the old city. I expected just a very simple room. I had no idea. I didn't really do much research on the place itself. So when I came here and I saw the facilities and coupled with the hospitality of all the people who are assisting us here, it's, it's just amazing. I mean, it's beyond words. I Everything starts with just a circle and a line. And, and how, you know, one layer after the other, this kind of uh, form develops. And, and it's, it's beautiful to see the, the end result. So it's a tighter, sharp star, this one. And the harmony and the beauty when the pattern emerges and you can see it coming out is marvellous. I had a drawing in front of me. The only thing I was thinking about was that drawing. It's so beautiful. I mean, to see them do it, it's, it's stunning. But just to be able to do it yourself, I, I can't believe that I did it. Richard always says um, it, it comes clearer after a while, and eventually, after a bit of being blind, you, you do start to see, and I think you train your eye and your mind to seeing things you wouldn't be able, and that's, again, I think what it is about. group as well has been fantastic. People come with, because they have that kind of wanting to learn about the art form, um, so there's a commonality between all of us. It's, it's fascinating how common interest bonds people and, and, and 
it doesn't matter which professional background you have, which age group or whatever, but this particular interest, I think it's, it's something which is very nice to share with a group of people, even though you have never met them before. I already said I would love to enroll for next year's class regardless where it goes and hopefully one day in the future we would come back, um, hopefully not too long away and I would laugh, I mean just, it has been incredible and I wish it would even last a few more days.